Hello, Programming 12. We're going to be taking a look at uh, the collision detection system in Physica. The idea is that we know that all the collisions are handled by Physica, but we want to like look in and read the collisions, kind of like a report, and see what collisions are happening so that we can respond to them. So for example, in our volleyball game, we want to make it so that we can know when the ball collides with the uh with the ground and that way we can uh you know cause the players to gain score gain points that kind of thing so i'm writing a function called hit ground the idea is that it will send a boolean value a true or false value to let us know if the ball hit a particular ground i'm just going to pause for a second and jump over we'll take a look at where we're calling this from just a moment all right so here's an example of where i am uh using hit ground uh, to see if I've touched, uh, see if the ball has touched the ground. So hit ground, as you can see, it's a Boolean function, so I can embed it inside of an if statement. You can write equals true if you want to, uh, but it is true or false. So you know, if saying true equals true is true, then you know we could just you could just say if hit ground, uh, left ground or right ground. You know, we don't have to put the equals true in there. I'll leave it up to you, uh, whatever you feel most comfortable with. Okay, so if hit ground. You know, left ground. Then obviously I'm going to gain. The right player is going to gain the score. Then I reset the game. Uh, if the if I if the ball hits the ground on the right ground, then it's the left score. So you see how I can send it a different ground object to uh, determine which uh, side the ball hit. And then again, because it's boolean, it'll return true or false. Uh, so that's the story there. So let's go back and see how this function works. All right. So we're at hit ground. And what I'd like to do is first of all introduce you to get contacts. So I can say uh, ball dot get contacts. Uh, what this function does is it is going to go to the ball object, the F circle that is the ball, and it will get a list of all the contact events that are happening to the ball in this frame. It might be many different contacts. It might be touching the net, the player, the ground, all sorts of different things. So this will return actually a list of contact events. So I'm going to say array list uh, F contact. And I'll make it a contact list or something like that. This is just a temporary name uh, for this. And by the way, there is an error here. Don't worry, we'll resolve that before the end. We just have to return true or false. Um, so anyway, so this list will contain a list of F contact objects uh, that represent all the contacts that are happening to the ball in this frame. So the contact uh, F contact objects are kind of like a report of what the collision's all about. And what is it? What is Physica going to do about it? So what we can do is read those uh, reports, those F contact objects, and find out if they contain the thing that we're expecting it to be. So we want to see if there's like a ground object. Now I sent a ground, right? I sent either left ground or right ground. So, but I can just refer to it generically as ground. Whatever F box I send it, you know, it'll it'll find out. So let's do it. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to make a little loop that'll go through this array list. Uh, that's uh, exactly what we've been doing all semester, right? We were, uh, most of the semester, we've been writing uh, loops that process arrays. So I'll make the the standard loop. Uh, well, i is less than contact list dot size i plus plus. This is our typical loop that will take us from zero till whatever number is the end of the contact list, and we'll keep on iterating each time. So what do I do with it? Well, basically, I can check to see if if the ball touched a particular ground by checking each contact at a time. So I can say something like uh, f contact my contact equals contact list dot get i. So basically I am going to uh, f contact, what did I do? Oh yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> I, I just have to send me colon around. Um, so basically, I'm going through the contact list one at a time. I'll get contact zero and contact one and contact two and so on. Uh, and I'll, each time I'll call it my contact. So then I can check to see, hey, if my contact uh, dot contains ground. So contains is something that a my uh, an F contact can do. And it just uh, checks to see if this particular contact was between the ball and the ground. If it was, I can return true. But if it isn't there, I don't say I don't say else return false. And the reason is because, you know, maybe this is 
the first contact, and there's multiple contacts, and this is the one with the net or the player. So I need to let the loop keep on going to find out if there is a uh, other possibility for there to be a contact with the ground. So that means uh, instead of doing it here with the else, I'll say at just at the end of the loop, I'll say return false. If the loop completes and I never returned true, then I guess I can assume that there was no contact. So then I return false at the end. Oops. There we go. So there's my hit ground function. It is a Boolean function that returns true, and it basically processes a list of contact things that are happening to the ball. It's going to loop through all the contacts that are happening, and it's going to be looking to see if any of those contacts involve the ground. And if they do return true, and if the loop ends and I haven't returned true yet, well, I guess the answer is false. So I return false. So there you go, folks. That is how we handle or how we dis, um, investigate the collisions in Physica. All right. Thanks, everybody.